municipality of Turin is one of the case studies of the European project EuroHealthy. This project aims to advance knowledge of policies that have the highest potential to promote health equity. Turin, a former Italian capital, is the second largest city in northern Italy and an important industrial, business and cultural centre. It is the leading city of the metropolitan area of Turin and the Piedmont region. The municipality is composed of 23 districts with a total population of almost 900,000 inhabitants, of which 25% has an age of 65 and above. We know that in Turin uh, the health is not distributed evenly. Uh, it's distributed in quite different way. If, for instance, if you take the surface metro line in the city, that uh, brings you from the Hilt region, the, the, the east and the region of Turing, which is the more affluent region area, and moves you to the east end part, the west end part of the city, which is the, the poorer part of the city. Uh, the people that enter the metro at each stop just lose some months of life expectancy, it stop. And the people living in the more affluent area, the men, are expected to live four, five years longer than the one living in the poorer area. So a very huge difference in life expectancy in the city. Why? There are no geographical barriers that uh, are in, in some way making difficulties in accessing the best of care for people with, let's say, infarction, cancer. So there are no reason for such dif huge differences. The main reason are two are related to who you are and where you live. Io abito in Corso Quintino Sella e l'ospedale è vicinissimo, quindi anche quello è comodo eh, e anche servito dai mezzi pubblici perché noi non abbiamo la macchina. In fact, who you are means which is, which is the level of material resources, status, support that is available to you to protect and promote your health. Io abito vicino ai giardini reali, quindi è molto, molto okay. bello. E allora, la confusione senz'altro, cioè quella indiscutibile. E poi niente, la, la cosa bella che sono in centro, sto subito in piazza San Carlo, insomma, vedere tutto il bello che c'è di a Torino. Esatto. Ecco, non andrei mai fuori Torino io, ecco, no. io lo amo troppo, sì. No. Cioè, essere vicini a Porta Palazzo aiuta perché trovi sempre eh, frutta e verdura di stagione, quindi quello sicuramente aiuta, molto più che andare al supermercato dove i costi sono più elevati e quindi sì. And we know that who you are in the west and poorer part of the city have less resources, less status, lower status and less support. So that's, that's important for but at the same time, also where you live, the, the poorer areas are also the areas with higher pollution, with le less services, with more difficulties in access, with less social cohesion. So many reasons why where you live can matter for your health. So these are the two main reasons why the, the, that explain this health divide into the city. Sulla salute ormai si sa che è il tempo è così, non è che l'inquinamento è dappertutto, non è che per avere meno inquinamento bisognerebbe andare fuori Torino. They are a very important challenge for policy makers and for stakeholders. 
And if you are able to provide them good data on this mechanism to make the right decision in order to moderate these uh, inequalities in health. What, for instance, the city and the Ministry of Innovation of the city can provide to stakeholders and policymakers that are making decisions on urban policies, on schools, on uh, streets, on labor, on immigration, on housing. We also need to create uh, uh, a new ecosystem uh, in our territory. This is the reason that we uh, start to uh, create this new relationship with the University of Torino, collecting data on health that are really important for uh, understand our territory. For our uh, policy, it's really important to collect uh, data regarding uh, the health of our citizen, uh, the security, uh, the quality of uh, air, so the pollution, um, the noise that you can have in a different uh, area of our territory, so you can understand analyzing this data, uh, which could be the new policy on our city. What they can help to pro provide in data in making this decision more informed. That's the, the, the important challenge that we are dealing with, also with the help of the EuroHealthy Project. Thanks.